<laughs> all right, all right. What's going on, party people? This your man Griff. So I'm gonna tell you now. I'm gonna be moving my visor around so I can make sure I don't have too much glare on me. It's a little bright out here today. In fact, let me turn my AC on. So I can get some some cool air going through here. Turn that down. Um, as the title says, stop asking people how to make money in this business. If you're a grown up, you already know what you got to do to make money in this business. And y'all playing around with this question, how, how, how you make money in this business? That ain't the real question that you're really that, that you, um, you, you're asking. What you're really asking is how do I make money in this business when I see that there's so many daggone other notaries in this business? Because you probably had the impression somewhere along the line that it was just going to be you. And you were the only one in your area. And then you went online and did a search for notaries near me. And you saw that it was umpteen dozen of notaries all over the place around here. You're like, oh, snap, man. I, how, how I'm going? Oh, man, how I'm going to compete against that? You compete against that the same daggone way you compete in your job. And see, it doesn't, it's not about the number of people that you're competing with. It's how you compete with the people you're competing with. You got to compete. And you compete at your job. It's five of y'all that's working in the warehouse. It's a six person in there that's a supervisor. They have, they just came up with a slot for an assistant supervisor in the warehouse because they're going to expand and hire five more people for the other warehouse so they want the assistant to stay in that warehouse where you're at and they want to take the manager and move him over to the other one so he can get that established and then they're going to have add a, an assistant um over there and then the supervisor is going to manage both of them while the assistants help him well guess what you are competing with really now eight other people or nine other people to get at least to get one of those two spots you're competing with the four other people where you're at for the assistant manager or super supervisor position in that warehouse you probably feel you should get it because hey you got seniority you've been around for a minute this that and the other and you and you're like i want this job job and you don't care how many people in there you're competing you show up early you stay late you start learning the regulations. You start learning the processes. You even go and take some computer classes because you ain't because you like I ain't really that good at computers. You start doing things to make you better than everybody else, and then you start executing stuff. Heck, you even st slow down on the drinking the night before you go to work. You like I ain't drinking on Sunday. Now I ain't drinking because I want to be fresh in my mind when I go into work. I ain't going into work no more with that liquor breath on me. You do all of that. So you can get to the position that you want. You fight for it. It don't matter whether it's one person, 20 people or 100 people. You have to compete and fight. And when most people join this notary business, you have been sold a bill of goods that make you think you don't have to fight. That make you think you don't have to compete. And then when you really sit back and you look and you search in your area and you're like, oh, God, oh, who in the Oh, man. You mean it's that many notaries doing loan closings, doing a pot steal, doing general notary work, doing run? It's that many people. Whew. And you and you know what you really are saying to yourself? How am I going to compete against that? How I'm going to compete when they got this and they got more time in. But guess what? You're the young person. Or let's just say you're the, you're the old head that's in that warehouse. And it could be somebody that's a secretary or a nurse's aide or, or LPN or whatever. It don't matter. Whatever job you got, there's people that you got to compete against. And you're like, how do I compete against it? But guess what? But you're the old head. And you know what? That youngster is going to compete against you. That youngster don't care because that youngster know that's a, that's a pay raise for me. 
and they get in there and fight. And guess what? You're where you're at probably in your job because when you was a youngster, you didn't care about the fact that, oh, I don't have that much experience. Oh, they've been around for longer. You like, I'm just as good as them. But you don't have that attitude when it comes to the notary business. You want everybody to lay down and just give it, give up the ghost for you. You want everybody to just stop competing so you can win. It don't work that way. You want everybody else to make the mistake so you can win by default. It don't work that way. It don't work that way. You want to win, go out there and win. Go compete. Nobody looks at sports of any sort. Nobody looks at competitions of any sort hoping that the person that is that one person just gives up so the other person can win. You're not spending your money to see Mike Tyson fight anybody back in the day and hoping that person just give up and win. You're hoping they will fight their bus off so they can possibly beat Tyson, possibly beat Ali, possibly beat Holyfield, possibly beat Simone Biles, so forth and so on. You're looking for people to compete, but you don't want to compete. You want everybody to give up so you can win and say, hey, look, I'm the best. I'm this. I'm, who? I'm making all the money. But you don't know how to compete. The moment somebody stands up and starts competing with you, then you get scared and you run off and like, I'm going to go do another business. I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that. I'm going I'm to be a loan processor. I'm going to be a real estate agent. I'm going to be this. I'm going to go teach. I'm going to go I'm gonna go make some, some notary purses. I'm going to go make some notary sneakers and, and I'm going to sell that and make my money that way. If you can't compete on this level of being a notary, how the heck are you going to compete on a higher level? So stop asking people, how do you make money in this business? No, the question really is, how do I compete? And the way you compete is you learn your craft. The same way you learn your craft in your day job, the same way you went out there and competed to be valedictorian, saluted, salutatorian, or at least in the top 3% or 5% of your class, the same way you competed to graduate with honors, summa cum laude, all of that, you did what? You competed. You stop playing around, you stop sitting up here pop locking and doing all this other foolishness and you went out there and you competed. But see, in order to compete, you gotta have knowledge. And the problem is y'all running behind the wrong piece of knowledge. You just running out there hoping somebody will teach you everything you need to know, but you're not verifying, validating, and critiquing the stuff that people are teaching you. You're paying money to be taught stuff, and then when, after it's like, ooh, man, that didn't teach me nothing, and you feel empty. And if you're feeling empty after you look at some of these videos, if you feel empty after you sit here and sit in some of these conferences, sit in some of these meetups, if you feel empty after you take the training and you still feel like I don't have the ability to compete, then you wasted your money. I know for a fact when people hear me talk on this channel, they know they can compete. When I, whether they do it or not, that's a different story. But they know they have it in them to compete. And I want y'all to get out there and compete. I'm tired of y'all sitting around, whining and complaining, spending all your money, hoping that some something magical will happen when you listen to these little slicksters out here with their pretty hair and their pretty dresses and all of their little popping circumstance. And you're sitting up here wasting your time and money. And then you're like, well, Griff, how can I compete? Why don't you ask the person you paid $500 to? Well, they won't talk to me. Then that tells you there, they just took your money and wasted your time. So now, you're going to have to get out here and compete. You can do this. The question is, do you want to do it? And do you want to make the necessary sacrifice to do it? And if you do, you'll get to where you want to be. You ain't got to be like me. You ain't got to be like them. But you do have to be like you. All right? Talk to you later. Peace.